Hey everybody, it's Melissa. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Baccarat Rouge 540 by MFK. Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? All right, now if you look closely here, you might be like, Melissa, that looks like a fake bottle. And I honestly think that it is because if you look at the J, it's kind of swooping in a certain way. And my followers actually pointed that out to me. Now this was actually gifted to me by one of my followers, um, but I do have experience with the actual fragrance. I'm just holding this in the video just for visual purposes, all right? Now, Baccarat Rouge undoubtedly is the most popular niche fragrance on the market. And I really think this video will apply for like the next five years at least, all right? Now, when I say it's the most popular niche fragrance on the market, that just remember that doesn't translate to the real world, okay? Because you have to remember a lot of people aren't really wearing fragrances to begin with. If they are, they're probably wearing it to events where they have to get dressed up. If they're going clubbing, they're going to bars, they're going on dates, right? But on a day-to-day -day basis, majority of people aren't wearing fragrances. So just be cautious of that because I wanna give you like a real world perspective with these scents. Because if you're watching a lot of videos online, you're gonna see people saying that, oh, like that's so basic. Everybody wears it, but that's just really not the case. Because when you're watching a fragrance video, you're already kind of in the fragrance niche. And of course, if you're watching a video about something that is super popular in that niche, it can sway you from not wanting to try things because it's seen as, oh, everybody has that. You know, and to me, I'm a big fan of, if you want to try it, go try it. Especially if you live near a Neiman Marcus, a Bloomingdale's, a Nordstrom. You could just go try it for free on your skin. And also, it depends on who you surround yourself with because a majority of people out there aren't surrounded with people that are constantly wearing fragrances, you know? If you do have, let's say, a group of five friends and three of them are wearing Baccarat Rouge 540, then yes, I could see why you'd stay away from this fragrance. But if no one really is, then what the internet says doesn't really apply to you. You know what I mean? Now, what does this fragrance smell like? This is a sweet cotton candy scent. And if you wanna know the nitty gritty of all the notes, you could probably look that up on Fragrantica, right? But to me, this is just sweet. It's seductive, very nice scent trail, very good performance. When we talk about performance, it does last upwards of eight hours. Now, let me address something with the performance that people just kind of gloss over all right some people say that performance here only lasts 30 minutes an hour it's absolutely outrageous for the price point going nose blind to fragrances is very common all right you are not gonna smell a perfume you put on the whole entire eight hours that's just not gonna happen the same way that you go nose blind in your own house your condo your apartment right you're just you're living in that and you don't notice there's a smell, but whenever you go to somebody else's place, you can automatically pick up that, okay, they have a, there's a certain scent here, right? It's just your nose adjusts to that smell so that in case of an emergency, like if there's a, a fire or anything else, it just stays on alert for that. It does the same thing with your perfume. You're just like, okay, your nose realizes there's a perfume here. We got that down. Let's just stay on alert for other things. So keep that in mind when it comes to longevity because even if you might not be able to smell it i guarantee you especially if you're doing five sprays of this which is already pretty like a, a good amount people will smell you all right so just keep that in mind now is it worth it for the price that's completely up to you some people literally drop 400 500 on a scent without blinking an eye and to them they really don't care and they're just bougie like that right now for people that are in the designer realm of fragrances or not in the designer realm right let's say between 70 to 150 dollars is your budget i don't think this is going to be worth it for you because of course anything upwards of 200 dollars, let alone 300 dollars is really going to be pushing it, you know? And plus a lot of people have the mindset of, I could just get a dupe for a fraction of the cost. And in a way that's true because this is the most cloned fragrance on the market. So if you wanted to just go dupe searching, you absolutely could if you're just trying to find something similar. Now, if you're somebody that of course wants to rock the original, then of this will be worth it to you. But 
I want to add this. This is the EDP concentration, or the, that's the one that I'm used to smelling when I do go test it. I honestly think that the x straight is better. If you go Baccarat Rouge 540 x straight, I find it sexier. I find it just like more intoxicating and addictive. So that's the direction I would point you in, especially if you like this DNA, but you want it to just have that extra umph and just a little bit more of that uniqueness. A unique, like quote unquote, right? So I would say, is the is the extra rate worth it? Yeah, absolutely. Especially if you're trying to just splurge on a bougie fragrance, go for the extra rate, right? But then again, EDP should be fine. I think it's so funny because whenever you just talk about Baccarat Rouge 540, and whenever I've made videos on it, and I specify it's the extra rate, it just goes over people's heads. Like they just don't hear the word extra rate. They're just like, oh, Baccarat Rouge. Yeah, no, that doesn't last. And I'm like, did you see that I put the extra rate? And they're like, oh no, what's 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 an extra rate? So. That's something people are sleeping on. They just see the name of the fragrance. They don't look at the concentration at all. So that's the one I'd point you to. Now, again, if it's worth it, that's the first thing is if it's up to your budget and then also the people that you're around. If you're constantly smelling this scent, then that will probably put you off from wanting to wear it. But again, if you're not surrounded by people wearing this and you want to throw this on, you're gonna smell amazing okay this is a big compliment getting fragrance you have to know the reason this is popular is for a very good reason and of course with popularity comes a ton of negativity and we've seen it in all forms of art or whatever where when something gets super popular there are all of a sudden a new group of people is like am i the only one that hates this like i can't be the like everyone wants to be different right they want to just be like oh i could never you know what I mean? It's just kind of like an uppity sort of response to it. But to me, I don't really pay that any mind. If something is popular and it smells good, I get it. I'm not going to go dog on it, right? So when you're hearing people say that Baccarat Rouge is basic and that everybody has it, I just really don't think that that's true. Sure, if you live in a big city, you might smell it more often than you do living in the suburbs or living in like a rural area. But even for me, when I was... When I went to New York, even in places like LA and stuff, I really didn't smell Baccarat as often. In fact, the most popular fragrance that I've smelled just in person is the Dior Sauvage EDT or EDP. Those are like, those two concentrations of Dior Sauvage are what I smell mainly on somebody wearing something. But with this, not as often. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it in this video, but this is marketed as a unisex fragrance. Anybody could wear it. However, I do believe that this goes much more on the feminine side, especially if you just smell it off rip. When you think sweet cotton candy, typically your mind goes to a feminine fragrance. But I like that they labeled this as unisex because it allows people to want to try, you know, a scent without worrying too much about the labels. And to be honest, the labels really don't matter on fragrances. You'll find that a lot of scents labeled for men or for women like, if they were just labeled unisex, people would just be going crazy wearing them and they'd find their new, like, man killer scent, lady killer scent. You know, it's kind of crazy how skin chemistry works. But there's actually a lot of athletes, there's a lot of rappers that use Baccarat Rouge 540, and that's also kind of amped the status and the elevation of this fragrance due to the popularity of very famous, wealthy people, right? So people want to kind of associate with that stuff. And I get it, it's just, it is something that makes its presence known. And I think that a lot of people crave that, whether they wanna admit it or not. If you walk into a room and you're walking by people and you're getting those head turning sort of reactions because you smell delicious, that, I mean, it's, it's a good feeling, you know? So I wouldn't blame you for wanting that and for kind of being that it girl or whatever when you, when you walk into a room, right? So. Baccarat Rouge 540 has just time and time again been able to do that for people. So in that regard, I do think that it's worth it to look into. Um, the only thing that I can tell you right now is that the downsides, of course, would be the price and then just the fact that you can get a dupe of it if you want to. I will say the dupes that I've tried of Baccarat Rouge 540 haven't hit the same as the original and that's gonna be the case by the way when you do try dupes at least for me 
they never fully scratch the itch of the original. There's always something missing, always something lacking, always something that just feels a bit, yeah, like lackluster, right, in comparison to the originals. So keep that in mind. But if you're someone that honestly does honestly <clears throat> doesn't really care too much about like like okay if it smells 60 percent the same i don't care i'm gonna get that absolutely go for it if you find a dupe that works for you then wear it put people on or gatekeep it whatever you want to do and also you could layer it with different things to kind of create new smells if you're trying to be experimental with it but all in all i still think that this fragrance will be worth it to a lot of people. I think that if you have it already in your, if you're someone that already owns this scent, I see it as a fragrance that you're like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna whip that out if I'm going to a party or if I'm gonna be social because I know people are gonna eat it up every single time. And in fact, there's a lot of people that own a ton of fragrances and this is kind of the tried and true scent that they'll repurchase bottles of, even though they have other ones that they haven't used as much they will rebuy Baccarat Rouge 540 because it's just proven itself as a champion fragrance in a collection, you know? Now, to the people that are newer, I still think, though, you are gonna get a good feeling when you throw this on. Like, if you do end up buying this scent, majority of people absolutely cherish it. And, like, when they wear it, they're just like, damn, I feel like a bad bitch. And you are, you know? So, like, it's just... I would I know that I'm giving you an online opinion and I'm literally going to say that don't like make up your own mind of course but the online opinion of things it doesn't always translate and I really try to like hammer that in all my videos because a lot of people will be swayed with just like people on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube telling them that it's so basic and they're really trying to like put down the scent but they don't really give the full picture of, yeah, this thing, it's it will still pull. Like, if you are looking for that compliment-getting fragrance, if you're looking for that scent that's going to have people fall into their knees, Baccarat Rouge will still do that. I'm not saying it's the only fragrance that does that, because there's a ton that do more of that. Like, for example, Lamar by Kajal Perfumes. I talk about that all the time. It's basically a pineapple version of Baccarat Rouge. That thing pulls. That's what I would suggest over this if you're contemplating, and I think it's cheaper um, it's not a dupe. It's another niche fragrance, but it's just more unknown. You know what I'm saying? In the fragrance game. But anyways, yeah, in a way, I still think that Baccarat Rouge, if you want to try it, go for it. I'm not here to demean the fragrance or tell you that it's... I'm not going to be unrealistic and say that, oh yeah, everyone wears it, so don't even bother. Get this instead. Like, you can do that, but if you try this at your local store and you're rocking with it, and it, it makes you feel yourself in a type of way, then I do think it's something to consider. And also, you don't have to just straight up buy the bottle of it. Get a travel size. That, that's my recommendation. Instead of, like, buying, like, a dupe of the scent, just, like, go get a travel size version of this fragrance that, honestly, will, it'll probably be around the same, si uh, the same price as the dupe or cheaper. Who knows? You can just get that or ask for a sample of it for free at Neiman Marcus Nordstrom Bloomingdale's and see how it wears on your skin, see how you like it, see how the performance is. And like I said, this is a long lasting scent, so you don't need too much of it. Like you're not going to go through the thing super fast. You know, people will be able to smell you and it's going to give you a good amount of time to determine, okay, you know what? Maybe I will cop a bottle of this. I'm using this a lot or... You know, like, maybe if I just get two travel samples of this, I'll be fine. You know, you can make up your mind that way. But you can, in in that way, you can also see, like, if you're into the original scent. You can get the travel of the original, or a sample of the original, and then get, like, a, a dupe, and then just kind of see what you like. But I'm still going to say, y'all, try the X-Trade. Try Baccarat Rouge X-Trade, please. Like, I, if you like this... I really think you'll like that one better. I mean, I do. I do personally, but it's just like, it's like a femme fatale scent. You know, you wear that even if you're casual and it's sweater weather right now, um, but if you're dressed up, you got like a nice a nice dress on or something, and like that red lip, and you've got the Baccarat Rouge 540 x straight on, it's like an Aphrodite type of scent. You know what I mean? Like a who is she? You know, it's just, ooh, it's it also has like that, like that good girl vibe kind of mixed in there, but 
with a sense of like, oh, I'm kind of, I'm intimidated to talk to her because she's so hot. All right. Like it's, it's, it's like that, but you don't come across as like, it, it, you know what I mean? It's, it's not like a mysterious, dark brooding scent, but it's intimidating in the sense that damn, like she just smells fine as fuck. Like that's really what it comes down to. All right. Anyways, I hope this video helped people that are trying to contemplate. Go try it for free. That's the main takeaway of this. See how you like it. Let me know in the comment section what other fragrances you guys want me to talk about. All right. I hope you have a great day. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.